the interior of some conference or presentation room, with a yellow wall, a few chairs and a small pulpit. A woman aged approximately 35 to 40 wearing a grey dress and black patent high heels set on bare legs. In the video below, we see the woman in a seated position all the time, with both legs on the floor. From time to time one is alternated behind the other. Almost always there is a situation where the left shoe loses partial contact with the foot. The right one does it very rarely. Dot. Scientists have developed a new type of extremely efficient lithium sulfur batteries. Researchers at Monash University are well on their way to commercializing a lithium sulfur battery with a capacity far superior to current lithium-ion batteries. As the authors of the solution argue, the new batteries would be able to power the smartphone continuously for five days and would allow electric cars to cover 1,000 kilometers without having to recharge. Lithium sulfur Li -S, batteries have been known for some time, and although they are characterized by high capacity, much larger than the popular lithium-ion batteries, they have not come into widespread use so far due to short life and stability problems. But scientists at Monash University say they have solved the problem. Australian scientists have reported that they have managed to produce a Li S battery that maintains 99% of its energy efficiency for 200 charge discharge cycles. And it was the decreasing capacity during subsequent charge discharge cycles that was the main obstacle to the commercialization of this technology. The smartphone version would be able to power the device for five days, and the car battery would allow it to travel 1,000 kilometers without having to recharge, the researchers argue. The research project at Monash University in Melbourne is led by Mardok Shabani. The researcher, together with an international team, has developed a battery with a capacity four to five times greater than the currently used lithium-ion batteries. Research on a lithium sulfur battery suitable for commercialization has been published in the journal Science Advances. The successful manufacture and deployment of Li S batteries in cars and power grids will revolutionize the Australian vehicle market and provide all Australians with a cleaner and more reliable energy market, said Professor Maynak Majumda, co-author of the study. The scientist added that they managed to achieve a breakthrough that could change the way phones, cars and computers are made in the future. He also admitted that the research team received a large cash injection, $2.5 million, from the Australian government and industry partners to test the technology in cars and power grids. As the authors of the new solution admitted, the problem with the Lee S battery was that the capacity of the sulfur electrode is so large that it disintegrates in charging and discharging cycles and the energy advantage quickly disappears. The electrode disintegrates and then the battery dies quickly, Shabani admitted. This is because the sulfur electrode expands and contracts during the charge and discharge cycle, with a volume change of approximately 78%. The change in volume also occurs in the electrodes in the currently used lithium-ion batteries, which power, among others, smartphones, but it is about eight times smaller. To prevent disintegration of the electrode in the lithium sulfur battery, the researchers gave the sulfur molecules more room to expand and contract. They also developed a new method of intermolecular bonding that provides greater stress resistance without sacrificing performance and provides unprecedented stability. High efficiency, low production costs, availability of materials, ease of processing and lower environmental impact make the new technology extremely attractive for future applications. This approach not only promotes high efficiency in the long life cycle, 
but is also simple and extremely cheap to produce and could lead to a significant reduction in environmentally hazardous waste, said Professor Matthew Hill, who is involved in the project. Australian scientists have patented their solution. Moreover, the prototype cells were produced by German research and development partners, Fraunhofer Institute for Material and Beam Technology and successfully passed the first tests. Further testing will be conducted in Australia. Interest in the new technology has already been expressed by the largest producers of lithium-ion batteries from Europe and China. Strange objects orbiting the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. Astronomers have found six strange objects orbiting the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. They look like huge clouds of gas and dust, but they behave like stars. These objects are unlike anything that has been observed in the Milky Way so far. They are so peculiar that researchers have created a whole new class for them, G-type objects. Within 0.2 light-years of the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk at the center of the Milky Way, six strange objects defy the monster's gravity. They look like clouds of gas and dust, but behave like stars. Astronomers don't know what exactly they are. Scientists at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, who are studying a new class of strange objects, reported their findings in the journal Nature. The first such object, G1, was identified in 2005. In 2012, a group of German astronomers found a second, later named G2, which approached the supermassive black hole in 2014. Over several years of research, Scientists gradually learned about the peculiar nature and were surprised to find that both objects look like giant clouds of gas and dust with a diameter of 100 astronomical units. One astronomical unit is approximately 150 million kilometers, the distance that separates the Earth from the Sun. At first, Astronomers thought they were just clouds of gas and dust that would soon be swallowed up by a black hole. But instead of being sucked in by Sagittarius A asterisk, they continued to orbit him. These objects appear compact most of the time and are roughly spherical in shape. However, as their orbits approach the black hole, they stretch out like bubblegum. These objects look like gas but behave like stars, said Andrea Gez of UCLA, co-author of the study. Gez and her colleagues have been studying the galactic center for more than 20 years. Together with Anna Cielo, also from UCLA, they identified four more such objects, G3, G4, G5 and G6. Objects have very different orbits. Their orbital periods range from 170 to 1600 years. It's not entirely clear what they are. They don't emit much heat, and researchers have seen signatures of hydrogen atoms in them. Scientists believe that these may be stars hiding behind shrouds of gas and dust thick enough to block their light. G2, which has the tightest orbit, is probably a binary star system that has merged into one large star. G2 had a really strange appearance on closest approach, Gez said. We've seen this before, but it didn't look too odd until the object approached the black hole and expanded, and much of its gas was ripped apart. With this close approach, I lost its outer shell and now it becomes a more compact object again, explained Gez. Something must have kept G2 compact and allowed it to survive its encounter with the black hole, CLO noted. We now have a whole population of G objects, so it's not about explaining a one-time event, she added. 
Scientists suggest that G objects may be the result of chaotic stellar collisions, in which two stars merge into one large star. When this happens, a huge cloud of dust and gas is formed that surrounds the new star for a very long time, up to a million years after the collision. Most of the stars in the center of the galaxy are very massive. In addition, most are binaries, but the extreme gravitational forces around SGRA asterisks can be enough to destabilize their orbits. While G1 and G2 have similar orbits, objects G3, G4, G5 and G6 orbit the black hole differently. Gez believes that all six objects were once double stars. Stellar merges may happen more often in the universe than we thought and are probably quite common, said Gez. Black holes can lead binary star systems to merge. It is possible that many of the stars we have observed and do not understand may be the end product of a merger. We're just learning how galaxies and black holes form. The way binary stars interact with a black hole is very different from how single stars interact with other single stars and a black hole, Gez added. The center of the galaxy is an extreme environment. The land is in the suburbs compared to the center, which is about 26,000 kilometers away. Light years. The center of our galaxy has a density of stars a billion times greater than our part of the galaxy. The force of gravity is much stronger. Magnetic fields are more extreme. There's extreme astrophysics going on there, Gez noted.